that are personal to me with him. I told me to choose anything. He didn't choose anything and let me choose. So yep. we did that. And we'll just get reactions, see how it goes with mine. And then he has some for me to try and we'll yes, do this. Do. <laughs> What's up with the name? I don't get it. So I go by Darren the Devil because I'm a devilish sprayer, man. You know me, you've seen right. my videos. <laughs> 10 sprays all day. All right. So where do you want to start, man? Um, Here, I, I'll let you talk about, I mean, I'm, I'm sure everyone who's one of your viewers know about these fragrances no, or they should. <laughs> yeah, they do. Let's go, let's start off easy, oh, Rossi, yeah. uh, whatever. So. Whatever. There you go, check that out. All right. I don't, you can spray up and down your arm, whatever you want. Should we do paper? I really don't believe in paper, but you can. No, man. <laughs> I'm just doing little Do sprays. as much as you want. want. Oh my God. Yeah. Dude, holy shit. That's gonna be with you forever. Yeah, dude. It's a Siage monster. This has a berry sweetness to it. It's very berry-like with the booziness. I'm getting a cherry yeah, note cherry. On, the, on the bottom there. Oh my gosh, the booziness is, it's not as boozy as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a rum casket from like, you know, a hundred years ago, the dark rum, but this is a a smooth rum accord mixing in with that fruitiness. Yeah, definitely, definitely. There's- it, it, And the what, you know, the whatever is, he doesn't know what it was aged in, what barrel it was aged in, that, that's the name of the whatever. He doesn't know the name of the, I'm guessing rum. Yeah. Um, on mine, but th that's the name of the whatever. I'm guessing rum as well. And there's also something smokiness, like, like I'm getting almost like an incense smoke in here. Oh yeah, I get incense. You do? Yeah. Is This is mixed media. I don't feel like this is heavy natural. Yeah, uh, about 50, we're 50, 50. I'll try to tell you which ones. This is mixed media for sure. Yeah, yeah. I could tell. This is, yeah. A uh, great scent though, and I'm actually, a little PO that I missed out on now. <laughs> this is in the same lines of this. This is my favorite from Slumber House. Oh gosh, dude. It's Slumber one of those House. bottles. I smelled smelled it first time from a Lucky Scent Deborah and the perfume is over. from Portland, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought so. He's yeah. on the coast now, but yeah. <sighs> oh my so I get the same vibe, the same I get air. a booziness and well the boozy and then but the sillage throughout the day. I really get that vibe in there. And I, I like it. This is a lot darker. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Next spray. <laughs> shit, shit. Oh. Let's pump it. Oh my gosh, holy look cow. Color. Look at the color. <laughs> holy cow, guys. My this... fragrance is stained, man. Holy cow. Dude, it made my Dragon Ball a different color. <laughs> And then this is the most sought after bottle oh in the market. Gosh. Oh, it's good. Holy shit. It's like a man's bro. fragrance. You definitely get that booziness and oh my God, this just blows my mind. Holy, I won't cuss. I call this a, a humidor in the middle of Chicago. It's just that. You get it. Al Capone vibe, that yep. whole. Oh dude, like. That kind of vibe to me. There's also a softness, like a vanilla, like sure, yeah. There's a vanilla sweetness on the underbellow, which kind of cools that. this down to me. Like it has those dark, boozy, like almost like a cigar element to there or tobacco. There's a dry. Well, the, to me, I get that. I don't. I don't. I get the uh, humidor, like the I, whole. I haven't really smelled like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I own a lot of humidors. I'm a cigar smoker. Got it. And it's just that bellowing humid smell to me. There is a humid smell and there's an overlying sweetness with that mm. darkness, man. I don't, do you get that vanilla? Oh, I get, well, apricot is the big note. Apricot, yeah. dude. Okay, I was trying to figure out what that fruitiness was mixing yeah. in. Holy so, shit. Yeah, keist is the peach. This is apricot. Tobacco. Yeah, there's definitely there. tobacco. It's a dry Boozy. tobacco. 
Gosh, this is sophisticated. This, yeah, exactly. That's what I was gonna say. This is a classy, sophisticated scent for someone that wants to dress up, bag yourself a sensual lady. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I got man. my lady, so gosh, you get me excited with these, man. I don't Ooh. know. You're hitting some heavy stuff. I don't have nothing light here. <laughs> we better this will get overshadowed if we don't try it now. So I got two more we have to try. So that's one of the most famous ones of the year. Dude. Rising Mysore. I've been wanting to get my hands on a bottle of this since I saw it released and I was so excited when he pulled it out of the back. I literally, he saw my reaction. Okay. None of these have been sprayed on skin yet. So this is the first time Gosh. he's spraying them on. There's a grassy, like a... F so decide what you want to wear on, you know what I mean? The neck and the, the, the rest of the night. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I'm going to start... Pump I'm, what you want. Yeah. I'm, sp I'm, sm I'm spawning down on the sprays, man. I know when I Do get... what you want. Oh, this is strong. What is... Th There's a, something in here that reminds me... <laughs> It, coming off of you, it is strong, man. It is projected. You smell that, right? Maybe I don't smell it off me. <laughs> Dude. I don't know if you see my videos. I've done 12 sprays of that. Holy shit. I told you, dude, dark notes project off my skin like a mofo. It's a patchouli. Dude, there's definitely a patchouli. There's like an know. ivy note in here. I'm getting like an ivy. It's it, green. That herbal, there's oh, a- Oh man, I can smell good here. It, there's bitterness to this. I'm getting yeah. an herbal bitterness, the freshness of the lavender mixing in with- You get the barbershop vibe? Yes, it's very so Indian fougere. Though. What do you mean? I've never had a barbershop that's like that, but it's got that vibe. Yeah. Of, yes. I call it the India's barbershop. It's it's very, it has that oriental vibe for a barbershop scent. Yeah. Yes. It's own thing. Dude, this is so unique. And this has some similarities to stuff I've tried, but it was all from like 15 years ago. You know, wow. this has some, this reminds me of some of my grandfather's fragrances, like some fougeres that he used to wear. And you he, need to go get a hold of those. Dude, he, it, my grandparents are what is what got me into fragrances. Wow. Dude, is there a collection still around? So I just, my, um, uh, if you watch my channel, Darren the Devil, Devilish Sense, uh, I, my grand- I'll put it up. Thank links. you, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, my grandmother just passed and I got some of her fragrances and I, I cherish those. I'd love to see those in a video. Gosh, thank you. I, dude, I can go on for, about that one for- Yeah, that's good. Hours, but I want to move on because I know this is already going to be a long video. I'm sorry. I don't have the bottle yet. I wish I did, but I have this. Everybody knows what it is on the channel. So oh before, my gosh, before dude. Before this gets under overwhelmed, I want you to spray that on skin. So I'm a, I'm a fan of therapeutic fragrances. Uh, I was, I knew I had to hit up Brandon because of his style. Uh, we go over naturals. We go over mixed media. Um, and we have, we have yet completely different styles and that's why I knew I had to meet up with him. And when he did that video on Bloodline, I went on five minutes after it was launched. It was 12.05 and I was four minutes too late. <laughs> Crazy, man. All right. Okay. Dude, I'm still... Uh, I smell those. Dude, this this is getting darker now. I can smell the bacon. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay. I would do wrist, man. You think so? That's the key. It's a key fragrance. You want to run pulse point. Holy. Yeah, you just spray hard. Look at the color. Holy cow. I don't know if people can see this, but. If you can put it up close, I can zoom in. Dude, <laughs> this is all I can go. Yeah, talk about it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. So this is dark wet. There's a charred wood. Yeah. Bonfire, dude. This has some similarities to T-Rex by Zoologist to me. There's an, a metallic vibe to this almost in the underground, like an animalic metallic thing. Hmm. Do you get that or am I tripping right there? I, get, I mean, I get the heavy campfire. Yeah, definitely heavy campfire. I called it. Um, 
Here's that one back. I called it as. Can I spray one more on? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I got a Uh, bottle coming. You do. Oh, you lucky. Thank you. Holy shit. So when you first spray this on, there's almost like a booziness to this that I get. But. I don't know. It might be the other stuff. (laughs) (laughs) You, you, You put on two heavy booze bombs first. That's why I wanted this on your own arm there. Try to put that arm down when you smell. Good call. I mean, the cedar is, I've never smelt that cedar ever. This ever. is very, a, a very dry cedar, but it has the moistness. Like you're just, this, you know what this reminds me of? Being in the Pacific Northwest, you just got done camping. This is the next day after you put the fire out. Yeah. You're getting the the coals, the, the kindles with the fire that you just put out from the night before. You're getting the moistness from the rain and you're getting a dry cedar accord with some pine mixing into this. This is yeah. gorgeous. This would be a perfect camping scent. This is for a man that knows what he wants, who wants to get stuff done. A a, a brave soul, someone who has some hair on their chest. This- I mean, The name makes sense to me. I love the plot. Everything about this perfume makes sense to me. This has- I, So I smelled this. I actually had a, a friend who works for me in here today. And he doesn't, he has a broken nose. Even some of my strongest dudes, he has a problem picking up. And I spray this on. And he sprays like, this smells like my grandpa's basement. Almost yeah. just quick. And he's not, I mean, he's not an emotional. He's one of the, he's an accountant. One of the most straightforward guys you know. And for him, to, I was like, what? He doesn't watch my videos. Doesn't that know anything crazy. about fragrance. And I was like, that's. That's interesting, man. That's exactly what's in that bottle. If you hear Han, Hans talk about it. My goodness. So right before you said that about the grandfather's basement, I was going to say I get like a mustiness to this Mm -hmm. on the very bottom, like an old, like a basement, like a like old newspapers, old books, old wood. (laughs) Yes. Old wood and like antique, like you go into an antique shop. But this has some smokiness on top of all that. Yeah. I would love to get to the dry down of this. Is Does this get musky in the dry down? I, don't, I wouldn't call it musky. I mean, there's just a beautiful vanilla in there. Okay. The vanilla is out of this world, so it starts to get more aromatic as it dries down. I'm not there's this the patchouli. Vanilla. Yeah, it, it, it'll happen. Okay, it anchors down and, with yeah. The, yeah, and then the patchouli, it, it's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable fragrance. I'm starting to get the patchouli. You get that soily, earthy yeah. vibe to this. Okay. He, he called it a dark patchouli. Let's move on. Uh, at the end, can I go back over some of these? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We're running out of arm space. What are we going to do here? Let's get pretty. Okay. Yeah. You know how I love my pretty stuff, don't you? For So it doesn't get... I mean, to me, if Chanel was using raw ingredients, this is the stuff they'd be doing with their DNA. It doesn't have Chanel DNA, so let's not put that out there. No. But the raw ingredients this has, I yep. mean, if you mix that with the Chanel, that's the work that should be doing done, being done. It's not. This has some old French style yeah, to Yeah, I would call it a French style. Thank you. I don't know where you want me to put your stuff, so I'm We're being fine. very careful. Don't give away the secrets underneath the shirts. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Um, Hammer it. There you go. I just meant so spray is good thank you so, dude look at dude all of yours just it's all about color it's color of that juice that is so much different yeah. it totally blossoms on your skin oh my gosh it's that oh good. my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i have to take my glasses off dude i should have tried this one first Dude, have you ever tried mixing that with the with the mis with the Dixit and Zach? The, no. the dude, no. rising misor and that. So you can try that later. Dude, I'm definitely gonna. Dr- oh, dude, I'm telling you, that would be a match made in heaven with the herbal greenness of the dude. There's a fruitiness in there. I'm. I don't know any of the notes. Usually, I can pick up notes a lot better on my channel, but these are so well blended. Oh my gosh, there's an oriental fruitiness with that herbal green. The green in there is just so gorgeous. So here's the notes. I have it saved from the 40 video. So neroli, violet leaf, tea, iris, orris, butter, rose, leather, saffron, mignonette, 
patchouli, vetiver. You did say vetiver earlier. Yep. Sandalwood, cedarwood, amber, cocoa bean. Yeah. And bread seed, oak moss, and musk. So that oak moss, you definitely get that oak moss kind of leaning this all the way through. But it doesn't, I mean, I would call it, yeah, it's. It's not an oak moss fragrance at all. Yeah. It's not, no. It has those herbal qualities that. Yeah, pretty. It's, it's. Like it's a woman's oak moss. Well, I don't believe no. in. I don't. It's unisex. No, no this in. is not a woman's. <laughs> this is the devil's. <laughs> Holy, sh dude, this is gorgeous, and it has that. It almost has a darkness to it on the very bottom. That is it. That cocoa that's bringing a little bit of richness to this. Yeah, it's an amazing composition. <sighs> this is gorgeous. I think this one. Oh. Dude, that that me that rising me sword mm -hmm. is just getting gorgeous as well. Well, it does wonders in heat in summer. This one, the I mean, I'm telling you that sandalwood just does wonder. Well, the whole thing, sandalwood lavender. It, it, I I wore this in the winter, and it bumped up in my review in the summer because of how it just. Oh, I in bet. these summer days, I was like, this is a this is perfect. You get your summer. skin moist. It's like dude. a natural deodorant. Oh yeah, dude. It's like a smell you want to be in. I'm getting like a ginger vibe. Like a I think there's ginger in there. There's like a ginger ale sparkle coming. Oh, nice. Gosh, it with the grassiness. Sorry. Oh, okay. This euphoria is really hard for me to pick up because I'm just getting that herbalness with the roundness in the bottom with that cocoa. It, it's almost like there's aloe in here, like an aloe vera, man. I'm laughing because I'm like, I, if we go, if I give you more to spray, it's it dark. I know, yeah. I, I probably can uh, you only know, you do. You can one. if you want, if you're bold enough. Dude, I could probably only do one more after this. You said to be your honest. names because of the sprays. Dude, I well, you know what I'm wearing on my hands. Yeah. Which we'll go over in the next video. Stay tuned. So is this kind of the fresh arms? Do we do I was that? gonna say this is more of the so fresh. This, so uh, old school, oldie but goodie. He hadn't tried this, and this is. One of the masterpieces I call Bogues Mim. Check this one out. There's a bitterness to that euphoria. God, okay. I cannot move past that, dude. Okay. Or the rising muscle. I gotta get my good medium ground, you know? Uh, that's what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> Sorry, you might have to cut off some of my cuss words. Okay. I'm not a family man. Dude. What is? I've smelled something like this before. Well, he, he made T-Rex. Is that? Okay. It might be some of his DNA. I mean, T-Rex is a beast. So I wouldn't, I mean, maybe some kind of a cord down below, but I mean, everything else in T-Rex is crazy. What else has he made? Um. I don't know of other houses. There's a few other houses he's he's been in. Dude, this is gorgeous. I, yeah, it's it's a masterpiece. Are you smelling that off? Yeah, me? yeah, it's a masterpiece. It's it's literally a masterpiece, and that's mixed media and available all the time. Dude, I need to get my hands. Mim, 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 Mog, yeah, M E M. How much is the bottle of that? I don't know what it's up to. I, I want to say like four buck an ml. Are you serious? Yeah. No, I mean. Compared to Borna. I, I, I was, I didn't want to say it, but he took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah I'll give Max Media it's, it's due credit when it's that good. It's a I don't know if there's, I mean, it's four kinds of lavender. The, the lavender in this is bringing a beautiful Christmas. You sprayed it with that Afori, so you're going to pick up other stuff. I was going to say, I'm getting the herbalness with the. This has a, like a bourbon quality to this. Am I am I tripping or am I, I getting? You might get other stuff. Um, I think so. I, he has a boozy DNA. Okay. Yeah. And I call it um, drunken lavender. Is what I call That's it. That's what I was. Okay. This it has like a whiskey or a rum accord, kind of like T Rex, mixing with the herbal qualities, and it has a little bit of spice. It's not as spicy as T Rex, and it's definitely not as animalic or. Metallic. Yeah, I wouldn't call it T. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I would keep it away from T Rex. Is a Beast. It just has some of his qualities yes, that yes. you blending architecture. 
I need to check out more of it. I'm I is is his name Rich Antonio Grandani. Antonio, dude. This is one of my favorite perfumers. I need to I've only tried a few of his, but dude, I this really makes me want to jump into his Try Burku. Nobody's Burku. reviewing it, nobody's touching it. Okay. Um it, it's it's sad nobody's on that one. Is Burku the It's name? a new house um that, that that came out that he perfumed for. Um, I saw he has his own line as well. If I'm not oh mistaken. yeah, that's his own line. That is Bubbles, okay. Yeah, he perfumes for other people, like like uh, zoologist. Okay, so without getting into the notes too much, this just reminds me of an old school cologne style. Like it has, yeah, it, it has some like fougerish barbershop qualities to it because it's so clean, but it it's not it's not a barbershop. It's not, it, you know, it. It's its own thing, yeah. It's, exactly, because it has that booziness, the Christmas of the lavender. I think is what it's giving me that barbershop fougere style. I mean, it's taking an ingredient, and mastering it to me. Exactly. Four types of lavender are just. It's layered so well. I'm trying to pick up what that earthy thing is, and that's. Uh, I'm spraying his stuff on after, so I don't want to spray any on. It's hard for me to pick up because I've gone over so much. We, we might be oversprayed at this point. Yeah, my my nose is a uh, shot. Gosh, th dude, thanks for showing me these. Like I honestly, know. these are gorgeous. All of these. That rising misor is just starting to dry down, and it's so beautiful. Do you want to pick one more? Or are you done? I really want to, but I don't know if I could, man. Musk, this is my darkest juice. Check this out. That law, whatever, this, man. Oh. This 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 layers with anything. Musk does. I'll just spray it on Look my at hair. The hair. What is that on the bottom? It's musk pod. Is that what that is? Yeah. It just, it's so, it's it weighs so much. It just collects at the bottom. <laughs> Check how cool that is. You can smell it in there. Dude, that is dark. There's no, you're not having me spray that on yourself, are you? That's up to you, man. Uh, let me see that real fast. <laughs> it's one of the most precious things I own. Dude, I'm gonna get kicked out of my hotel. Oh my gosh, I really wish I would have sprayed this on, dude. I don't know if I can. I was like, which one is it good for layering? Any of them, it's musk. So the Afori, the Afori has fake musk in it, so mixing that with real musk. That's musk and rose, but that's musk. I mean, that that is the most. I'm well not done picking up rose. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're picking up musk. <laughs> I'm like, where's the so, rose? Have you, have you smelled real musk before? I uh, I've actually never smelled real deer musk. This is it. I mean, you. I put it with the forty. Well, yeah. oh, you want to smell it on its own, right? Okay, no problem. <laughs> I'm being really careful, man. <laughs> Thank you. Man, your hair's growing. Oh, dude, it, I just sprung up like a Bigfoot. This 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 will make you a man right here. Not that you're not, but I mean, it, it evokes. Watch my review. It That's the same it, quality I got from the It evokes. The bug. I was getting that musk, which was like very dark when I sprayed it off the atomizer. Now, it's so beautiful. This is a warm hug. This is a cozy, warm, musky hug. That's deer musk? That's, oh yeah, it's loaded. It, this is a transportive quality to this. It, I, I can't even imagine what, this reminds me of something you would smell 50 years ago, just in the forest when deer were abundant. You know, I used to remember when I first moved to the Pacific Northwest, I would see animal of like herd of elk crossing the road. You barely see that anymore. This must have been what hunters smelled when they were hunting for those deer, man, 50 years ago. An old school, it has a leathery vibe to this. Yeah, absolutely. And a darkness, is there oud in this? Like it has a- uh, I don't think he did oud in the, the number two. This is EO number two. It has a woody quality as oh, well, yeah, bringing this down, it. but it's a dry wood. 
Yeah, the rose gets lost on huh? the, the it, rose doesn't even have a chance. Dude, I don't catch the rose at all on me. Oh my god, it's I love that fragrance. Okay, it might be a little bit of like a damask. Is it damask? What kind of rose is it? Is it? I, I would have to look at what rose you use. I'm sure. It's a masculine type rose mixing in with that. Um, <clears throat> when we get into one of the roses later, uh, that that's in my collection, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about. It, it's like a lush rose mixing in with that dry woodiness. It has a cozy, warm, musky hug that envelops. That's the deer musk around this. That's It's almost animalic, but it doesn't go there. For me. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm trying. It's a clean, good, well-done musk. It's I very mean. clean. Insert does not mess around. That's one of his specialties. I'm trying to wrap my head around this because I've never <laughs> smelled anything like this, honestly. I mean, it has... So perfume used to be. <clears throat> it has some qualities to stuff I, I think I've smelled, like, you know, growing up, like something my grandfather... Grandma. Yeah. If he had the real stuff, my goodness, man. Uh, he used to wear this musky, animalic stuff that just used to drive me away. And now that I'm... Kind of getting a, yeah. my head around naturals. I'm still getting like a bourbon vetiver type quality to this, but it might be mix. I think this is my dude. It's hard for me to choose a favorite out of these. Yeah, I mean, I'm giving you. I'm giving. <laughs> these are heavy hitters, guys. Brandon is not around. <laughs> Love that Afori. Dude. So imagine that Afori. So Afori used to, well, we're talking about just like right now, they built their own musk in that, which I praised in Ambergris, but they just started using real musk. Imagine that with real musk. It has, this has the musky quality of Ryukyu, but Ryukyu is totally different. Yeah, but well, it's the same accord, yeah. same musk accord. Yep. But they're using real musk now. So imagine these if they went back and put the real musk in them. When you dropped that video yesterday about you eating that Osmanthus Kiara, a oh, I, yeah. I okay, I hit him up maybe what two weeks ago, yeah, and I was like, we dude, about this. I need to, I need to get that Atar, but I don't know if I could drop four hundred. I, I don't even know if you said the price on your channel. I, go ahead, I don't. People know three ml, four hundred bucks. That's over a hundred dollars per ml right there. Well, I've had, I don't know if you know this, I've had people saying that's too cheap for Kyra, so it can't be. So it's, Rising Phoenix just dropped the Kyra last January that I wanted really bad. Best pictures I've ever seen. How much was it? Just um, 0.3, so that's just drops. Oh, wow. Thousand dollars. What? Yeah. 0.3? 0.03, 0.03. Dude, that is insane. Th this just drops. This just drops. Was it in like a little yeah, tiny? Yeah. Holy cow, dude. Smaller than those of 40 samples that I had showed you. We'll have to talk later because we're going to make your video pretty long in this. We're good. Unless you, anything else? Dude, I, I can't. Okay. There's no way. You want to choose one for the chest? Dude. I just want to. <laughs> My sword? <laughs> yeah, dude. Which one do you choose for the chest? To wear tonight? You do something new or choose what, one of your faves. Can I see that Arise? Where is it? The Arise is there. Fleur de Fleur. Is this the new one? No, no, that's from the second collection. This is the second, okay. I wish I had the new ones. Dude. I'm not, Adam doesn't, he doesn't do that. Remember Anonym? I didn't get a free bottle. All right, we'll quit. If you're subscribed, we have some of the same subscribers. Uh, sometimes when I comment on your videos, they comment with me and they're like, oh, Devil of Sense. And uh, they went over some of the anonym stuff that we went over. <laughs> I think you should go by something devilish. You got a devilish quality to your reviews, oh, no, man. I'm, I'm having, I'm, I'm the opposite. Dude, I can't move past that. <sighs> I shouldn't have smelled that. Do go with what you love. I mean, if it's going to overwhelm you, go with what you had, or if you want to try something new. I think I got to go with the the Rising Me store, I man. I don't care what you look. I think I got to. This 
this is gorgeous though. It has like a a red date quality or something to it. It's you might not regret this choice. <laughs> I might not. <laughs> I almost just want to spray that Enzar on because it's such its own unique quality. But probably, I mean, I'm in Vancouver and I got to go to the bar and I don't know if I <laughs> pick up anyone wearing this, man. Uh, you might pick up the right person. Well, I might pick up a few dudes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> what the? What was that? Did you see That's that? It. Holy cow! This got my hand. Oh my god! Shock to the heart. I'm, I'm trying not to get any on me. I don't mind. I bet my stuff ruined. I don't know why. I'm getting that ivy vibe. I don't, do you get that or am I? I get a green, I don't know, yeah. It reminds sure. me of going through the forest in like ivy needles. That's what I smell in this. And then it's it calms down, it gets that greenness and it it gets those woody qualities. It gets like a clean, it's clean all the way through. But at the beginning, I don't know why, but I'm getting like a moist ivy scent to this, and I, I it might just be me. Okay, sorry. I, I'll You're try good. not to make You're this good. too long. This is probably already good. 20 minutes. All right, man. <laughs> I'm glad I shared fragrances with you. Hey, Thanks dude. For coming. Thank you for showing me these. Um, I I knew once I was coming through. He lives in the north part of our state. I'm in the furthest south. He's in the, I mean, ocean part of the north. I'm in the river part of the south, literally not even quarter of a mile is the river here. And are you right on the ocean up there? In I Spain? am. Rip, right so on the Pacific Ocean, man. We, we split the state that way. And so when I saw you, connected. before we uh, leave, I just want to tell everyone, all your viewers, how much respect I have for you as a reviewer. I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> I, when I started my journey, um, You've been doing this longer than I have. I've been doing this about a year in August. Maybe. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I've, it's my first year. How long have you been doing this? Year and a half. Okay, I was going to say, I remember. I started at the new year before that. My first review I watched of you was when you did the Rossi Fort. Oh, Colonia? Colonia. That was okay. my first review. And that's why when I hit you up, I was like, why don't you do reviews outside anymore? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> that was on vacation. I, just, I went up and got a sunset. And Where was that anyway? California. That was gorgeous, man. No Cal, Gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so like I was saying, I have so much respect for him as a reviewer. Uh, he does get some uh, in the in the communities. You you some when you did that Bortnikov video, you got some talk, Speak man. Truth, man. Hey, and that's what I appreciate. Me and him are we're we're we don't hype anything that we don't want to hype. We buy our own bottles. Yeah, we buy our own bottles. We. We're into this because we spend our money on stuff that interests us. And I, I'm, I'm just, I feel so blessed to have spent this time with you to see some of your style and smell these creations. Like I, I may have never been able to smell any of these. So thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it, man. That was awesome. I'm glad you've made the initiative. Hey, hey, hey yeah, this is, this deet, is my his, idea. His deets below, check out the video on his channel. So. Help Devilish sense. This is Darren the Devil. He's gonna bring up his uh, perfumes, and I'll try them. It's a little. I'm gonna get yelled at tonight because it's even, we're supposed to do this in the morning, but things fell through, and I'm like, let's just get it done, and who knows what? Maybe we'll do a third one tomorrow. You never know. I'm Anyways. down, brother. All I'm right, down. I'm up. always down to meet up with your with your style because it's so much different than mine, and that's what interests me. Yeah. I love to be taken on these journeys. We haven't gone on vacations. We're in COVID, and like I said on my channel, well, that's true. I want to go on transported journeys with these fragrances. Absolutely. All right, I'll talk okay. more with Darren in his video. Peace out. Be blessed. Okay, see, he's top down. <laughs> You can put that in at the end.